Yeah, so my, my fireman isn't traditional. I call it the lazy man fireman. So I double knee drop and then I dip my head for the guy to fall. I like double knee dropping because it means that I'm shooting in between his legs and I'm not, when you're shooting like here, I don't want to be stuck trying to whip the guy over or anything. It's all one motion. So when you're knee dropping, it's like one motion like that. Everything's one motion. I like, I like to put everything together. So I'm hitting my fireman and I'm moving him, boom, here, and then I'll just dip. And then he finishes the back, always looking for the fall. The, the goal of my fireman is I want my knees all the way in between. So if, I, if you spread your legs, I literally want to shoot like here. And then this arm has to be as tight as possible. Because you're perpendicular to the guy. You know, you lose your arm, you're in a, you know, almost a crossbody high crotch, right? Which is okay. I, I shoot a crossbody high crotch, no matter, it doesn't matter, you know? But this is way more effective, way stronger. Arms tight, this leg's tight. He can tell you it's tight, and all you're doing is you're just dipping your head, and then head's tight onto him, and you're finishing looking for the fall. Always. And the best thing to do is all one motion. So if you're able to like hit like that, and the guy just drops, like where's his counter, you know? Yep. He's not able to squeeze. The hard thing about fireman is these guys will hang on, they'll squeeze and they'll hold, and then you get stalemate, or you can't get your head out. You know, if you just whack all one motion, you're here, you're into him, and then you explode in, whip. Right there, that's the most of this here. And then you're throwing everything down, your head's dipping. That's why I call it the lazy man fireman, because you're just dipping your head, letting it fall for you, right? You're pulling him down with it as well. You're also, see here, whipping him down, and then you're finishing tight. You know, you never won't let go of anything. Finish the back, get your fall, 6.3. So yeah, when I'm, when I'm hitting this fireman's, a lot of times what happens when I, when I get right here and I dump it down, he's squeezing. So right here, you can see he's squeezing. He's tight in my arm, he's tight around my head. I can't get my head out. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna shoot this elbow to your stomach. Keep holding that arm. See, see how he's being a good part. He's still squeezing that hand, that was awesome. You're gonna run your head out over top and then you look you're right to his back, always looking for the fall. I'm always looking for the fall. And if I can't get the fall, I'm getting back points because that's the next, next best thing. We're always looking for the next best thing and that's to keep scoring points. And always looking for the fall. I was always told that if you get a guy on his back, you pin him. So again, he's an awesome partner. I shoot this, he's squeezing tight. Arm stuck, can't get my head out. These feet, you're gonna turn your whole body. Hands gonna slide back, your head pops out. Tight though, you don't want him to get his hips up or anything. Everything's gotta be into the guy. And you're right back to his back. You're looking for the fall. This left hand, you have to keep tight. You can't use this hand. You lose this, good rest is gonna get his hips up, and now you're extended. So this hand's tight, this hand's shooting back, and I'm driving. Everything's into him, so he can't get his hips up, and I'm driving into him, and I'm looking for that fall. So again, shoot this down. Great partner. You're driving into them, and to see right here, I like to square my hips up. So right here, I'll square my hips up, keep them tight, toes in the mat, and then you. I like to turn my right, right hip, kind of like in a hip toss, headlock kind of position, and you're looking, you're just fighting. No matter how he reacts, you're reacting with him. You're looking for that fall, no matter what. You gotta grab his head, whatever. Lock here. You gotta find a way to pin him. You gotta catch it. You gotta react accordingly. And then you gotta beat him. You gotta be one step ahead of him at all times. If you got an opportunity to put a guy away, you gotta put him away. There's just no excuse for it. The guy fights off his back, you did something wrong. You know, you gotta take the bull by the horns. You gotta take that opportunity. You gotta put him away. This is Spencer with Bruce Plus, and that's my fireman's carry.